okay good day guys good day to you all welcome back to the formula sports channel thanks for being here gentle reminder as always to one smash the like button and also subscribe to the channel free and easy ways to support the channel um you know we had a we had a nice watch along we had a, a nice watch along big up to everyone who joined us sunday the watch along and the main reason why it was a, a, a very nice watch along and a very enjoyable watch along was because even though the reggae boys did lose one nil to Costa Rica, right? Boy, a good while when you see the reggae boys roll it like that, you know, people. It's been a while. It, is, it has been a while. Especially that first half was just a dominating first half. Absolutely dominating, guys. Trust me, man. Even though th this is how I want us to lose. Even though we lose, I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't want us to lose. But even when we lose, at least lose with some dignity, man. Right? You know, the, the losses that we have been having in the World Cup qualifiers so far. I mean, my God, man. We, we, when we couldn't lay any claim. To say we could have win most of these matches, man, if any of them to be fair, right? We were just totally in a different league, right? And I don't mean that in a in a positive way, right? It's like the other teams were just in another league, right? To us, right? But guys, for starters, look at look on your screen, man. 63 ball possession. 63% ball possession to Costa Rica's 37%. Guys, when last you see reggae boys possess the ball, 60... Yo, people, I don't know if I've ever seen a game ever with the reggae boys this dominant in possession. That me can't remember it. Me, like, me not talk about the little small fry them who were playing in the Caribbean. Me I talk about some, against some very credible opposition, right? Costa Rica is flying right now and still in with a realistic chance of getting to Qatar, right? And we'll rule some serious leather against a team that we have struggled to beat from, you know, since Wapi killed Philip, this Costa Rica team is a team where we have struggled to beat, right? And and let alone struggle to, to outpossess. This is this is a Costa Rican team that has been known to be a ball playing team, a ball possession team in CONCACAF, right? But yet still we outpossessed them and it wasn't even close. We outpossessed them and it wasn't even close. In the first half, it was 69% possession to 31%. We almost ended off with 70%. Look at your screen: 606 attempted passes. To Panama's 363 attempted passes, 88% of our passes were accurate, 533 were successfully completed, right? To Costa Rica's 296 passes completed, right? At an accuracy of 82% for the Costa Ricans. Guys, trust me, man. Look at even, look at even possession last. See, look at even possession last. We lost possession 119 times, right? Just eight times more than Costa Rica's 111. But yet still, we had almost two-thirds the possession. Guys, we're balled in this game, man. Honestly, and it's sad that the game ended 1-0. It's a shame, man. You know, we, we, we can't dominate a first half like that and not score. We can't dominate a first half like that and not score. And yes, to be fair, Kayla Navas did come up big on, you know, quite a couple of occasions. But, you know, if, if, we, if, we, if we're going to dominate, I mean, the first step is to is to dominate in the manner that we did, we did obviously. But it would be nice going forward if finishing becomes, well, I shouldn't say finishing, but basically... You know, in the final third, or we can or we conduct ourselves in the final third, you know, should be something of 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 great importance, guys. 
we saw a different formation on the pitch today or last night i should say right three five two is this the way forward now many people have been calling for three five two for the longest while you know right i i have the only reason why i'm i'm not against the three five two the only reason why i wasn't really on the three five two bandwagon is because i didn't think it was the best formation for a Leon Bailey to thrive in, right? Um, not that I don't think he can do well in a 3-5-2, but I just, I just don't think it's the best formation for him to thrive in. And, you know, that's why I was initially against it because I'm saying, I'm saying Leon is one of our most important players who'd want to as best as possible to facilitate and accommodate that particular player. But Leon is not around right now, and you know, we implemented this 3 5 2. A lot of people say, you know, we need to start packing the midfield, right? And if we do that, our position stats um, should improve. I don't think it's a matter of packing the midfield with numbers, was the only reason why we dominated position in this game. Um, to be fair, I think that. One, it was packing the midfield and also the movement was a lot better in this game. From us, from our standpoint, the movement in terms of when we were in possession, the players were, were, were you know, the movement of the ball, the players of the ball, the movement was a lot better, you know, to give the person on the ball, passing options, out ball, etc. Right? Um, I don't think the movement was where it needs to be in an ideal world, but it was still a massive improvement in my humble opinion. So I think it's those two things. One, the movement improved and two, we popped the midfield, right? And I also think to some extent, I know some people might disagree with me, but I think Costa Rica kind of decided to, you know, start the game a bit tentatively. Right, and I think we we kind of seize control of that. And to be fair, we haven't seen this, you know, system against uh, an intense front press. We have to bear that in mind as well, you know. Really and truly, for the most part, the Costa Ricans never really applied a front press in this game, right? I'll be, you know, so I am not I'm not gonna get hype as yet because if I if I saw a front press being applied by the Costa Ricans in this game and we were playing out of that press or out of that pressure, then I'd be much more upbeat. But, you know, the fact still remains when we, when we you know, got to the, 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 the Costa Rican, the initial line of Costa Rican pressure, right, we were consistently breaking the lines with good link-up play and good, and good movement. You know, short, sharp passes and good movement, right? And we were consistently breaking the lines and breaking down and getting in behind the Costa Rican lines, right? And the Costa Ricans, to be fair, they were sitting in a mid to low block for most of the game, especially in the first half, right? And they were trying to get close to our players in midfield. They were trying to get close to our players in, in that, you know, in that mid block, so to speak, right? They were trying to get close to our players and trying not to give our players a lot of time and space on the ball, but yet still we still managed to break that initial Costa Rican line of pressure and break the lines and get in behind the respective lines, you know, all the respective lines, right? Get into the final third, create goal scoring opportunity and you know a lot of goal scoring opportunities and we enjoyed a lot of time in this game in the final third and also we had a quite a lot of goal mouth action in this game quite a lot of goal mouth action in this game as well so the big question is is that three five two the way forward a lot of people said that we you know we don't have numbers in 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 the midfield we do have enough numbers in the midfield that's why we're not progressing the ball as well as we should 
as I said, I, I thought the main issue was the movement or the lack thereof. I still do believe that the, the, the movement is still a major issue. The team is too static when we're in possession of the ball. Play, well, you know, when we're in possession of the ball, players looking around at each other, clueless, don't know what to do, don't know the patterns of movement, don't know the patterns of play, don't know where to go, when to go there, etc. What pass to make and that sort of stuff. I still think that that is the main issue at hand. But hey, this 3-5-2 looked really good. I think we can continue to test it out going forward. Honestly, guys, I think we should continue to test it out going forward and see how much success, you know, just not even success, but just see how it, it develops and, you know, just how good the team continues to look in this particular system, right? And also we have to bear in mind that after these qualifiers as well, we're going to kind of need to do some reshuffling of the deck, right? So we also have to look and we have to try, we have to try and assemble the best possible squad available to us right now in terms of a squad that can give us continuity going forward into the 2026 World Cup um, qualifiers. And so there is the question of whether the 352 would fit would fit those individuals as well. You know, but it is definitely something that we can look at. And I will say that it is definitely something that, you know, the change in formation is definitely something that helped us out today big time. And trust me, man, it was a joy to see, especially in the first half, almost 70 percent possession. And it wasn't just, you know, it wasn't just possession for possession sakes. It was possession with intent, possession with purpose, right? Position with ambition, right? Trying to break down the Costa Rican lines, trying to penetrate, right? Constantly looking for forward passes, right? If the space isn't there to progress the ball, we recycle the ball, look for space elsewhere to, you know, to, to try and exploit. Man, I have not seen the reggae boys play like this in a long time. Many naysayers will say that, oh, to be fair, Theodore Tapa Whitmore, you know, some of his best performances in recent times have come against Costa Rica. Yes, true, but this Costa Rican team is a little bit better than ones that Whitmore would have faced in recent times. The personnel is a little bit younger. I'm surprised they left out um, some personnel that they have been using in recent times. But this, the, 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 the team, the Costa Rican team is a little bit younger where the personnel is concerned. And, you know, they are flying and they are getting results against big teams in CONCACAF. And they are where they are right now with a realistic shot of getting to Qatar. And to be fair to Paul Hallman, Tapa, Theodore Tapa Whitmore's Costa Rican performances were not as good and were not as dominant as this one. As I say, guys, I have not seen a performance as dominant as this, right, against very credible opposition for as long as I can remember, man. It was a joy to see. But guys, tell me in the comment section what you think about you know what the you know the contents of this video stay safe take care and until next time